guys, it's Sarah from The Dainty Pair, and I'm coming at you with such wet hair. I thought that it would be time to do another video on this Revlon, I forgot what it's called. I'll put the full name in the description. It's the Revlon Brush Hair Dryer Majig. I have a full review on it from several months ago, but since then, I have had extensions put in, and I haven't used it on long hair, and when I did that other review, I had a lot of you asking if it was good for long hair too, because my hair was about chin shoulder length-ish. So, I figured we'd put it to the test today. First, I'm just gonna turn it on, and then I'll start kind of combing through. One of the things I remember loving about this is that it just glides right on through your hair. When you have extensions, you do have to be careful. There are wefts or beads or whatever kind you have tape, and you don't wanna snag those, so I'll probably start a little bit lower, and that's why I'm doing that. And then I'll find some hair sections so that I can do it at the root that don't have um, like a braid there. Okay, so one thing I am trying to do is keep my shorter pieces that are underneath that braid um, and underneath that hair together with the longer hair. I just want it to blend as much as possible and I feel like keeping it together as opposed to doing the short pieces separately. For some reason, in my mind, I think it'll blend better. Who knows? <laughs> That is so much hair. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it to pull this top hair down. And I wanna show you again how I pull the front hair away from my face. I don't want it totally flipped out. I really just want it pointing away from my face and going downward. So I turn this upside down, I'll put the hair on there, and then I kind of drag it away in a downward motion. And when it's on, you'll see what happens. Now everything is pretty much dry, so I'm just gonna go through, make sure there aren't any spots that still feel damp, because when I go back in later with my um, crimper or curling iron or whatever I'm using, if it's damp, it won't go as well, because it'll be too heavy, it'll be too wet. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's dry, and then we're almost done. I think it's all dry and I'm super stoked because I feel like this hair dryer did just as good of a job with the long hair as it did with the short hair. And I really don't feel like it added that much drying time, which I'm amazed by because, I mean, these are like 20 inches long. So I'm super impressed. I still give this little dryer a two thumbs up. That's all I have for today. If you want a more in-depth review, I'll put that video at the top of the screen here, uh, in a little box over here, and in the description box below so you can find it. And I'll also link it so that you can have that there as well. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later.